Since antiquity, pastoral farming was part of the culture and life in the Balkan. But this changed in the 20th century due to globalization and a higher population density. The cultivated land increased and agriculture intensified. The traditional, purely nomadic life came to an end. The farmers started to keep their livestock on fenced meadows and needed to feed them. Because of price shifts, they needed to keep more animals to sustain their living. Therefore, they had to move closer to arable land or cities to have electricity, for instance for milking machines. The result of this change was land abandonment in remote areas and overgrazing in areas around human settlements. This extreme change in land use has several remarkable consequences for the landscape and its inhabiting biodiversity. In intensively grazed areas, sheep prevent bush encroachment of grasslands by feeding on the seedlings of trees and bushes. Without sheep, the grassland changes and more and more bushes and trees start to grow, like here on the mountains. Sheep may further shape the local vegetation by serving as so-called seed taxis. They can carry the seeds of plants up to seven months in their fleece and the seeds are dispersed over the entire roaming area of the sheep. This connects isolated patches and can be very important for the long-term population viability of many plant species. Moreover, the grazing of the sheep is an important driver for biodiversity. The intermediate disturbance caused by the grazing has a positive effect on the biodiversity of plants. It prevents that only dominant species prevail in the grassland. And associated with this higher plant diversity, there is also a higher diversity of insects like white bees or butterflies and of other animals like for example tortoises. A high biodiversity can be very important for an ecosystem. It acts as an insurance for the ecosystem to resist anthropogenic disturbances such as climate change. In a species-rich system, it is more likely that some species will remain functioning even if others fail. Also, are ecosystems with higher biodiversity more resistant against non-native species than ecosystems with lower biodiversity? and this may play an important role in protecting endemic species of the ecosystem against invasive species. Taken together, extensive pastoral farming is a form of land use that is the basis of a high species diversity in grasslands. In nature conservation, it therefore serves as an important tool for gaining and sustaining high biodiversity in grassland ecosystems. <laughs>